On this video we're taking a look at our NCAA B parlay for the games that are happening on Friday, March 4, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is, Boston College vs Miami. Miami Florida minus 7.5 points. And here is why. This is a matchup that I'm sure no one reading this expected to see. Boston College knocked Wake Forest out of the ACC tournament and potentially the NCAA tournament as well. There's something scary about a team playing with house money like Boston College is. The Eagles will now have a chance to extend their season against a rested Miami team. The teams met just last week, with Miami getting the win. The Hurricanes got whatever they wanted offensively, scoring 1.27 points per possession. Those that know these teams best won't be too surprised by that, as Miami's offense is among the nation's best at 17th overall in Kenpom's adjusted offensive efficiency. Their offensive system is extremely difficult to handle, as Miami has three guards in Cameron McGusty, Isaiah Wong, and Charlie Moore that are lethal in pick and roll. Per synergy, Miami ranks in the 95th percentile in pick and roll defense. It's unsurprising that Boston College ranks in just the 21st percentile in pick and roll defense because they have two big men that struggle with lateral quickness. Quentin Post and James Karnak are both strong interior defenders, in addition to being scoring threats, but too often they get switched onto guards on the perimeter and are simply too slow to defend in space. On the other end, Miami's defense is not particularly strong, ranking just 151st in Kempom's adjusted defensive efficiency. However, the one area they do excel is forcing turnovers. The Hurricanes led the ACC in defensive turnover rate this season, and Charlie Moore ranked in the top 70 nationally in steal percentage. Boston College will be playing their third game in three days, so perhaps Miami's pressure will force the Eagles into a handful of turnovers. Our second parlay pick is Mississippi Street vs South Carolina. South Carolina plus 4.5 points. And here is why. Mississippi State struggled down the stretch, and the fact that they have sputtered gives cause for concern here. The Bulldogs have the advantage on the defensive end of the floor, but we saw the Gamecocks beat them in Columbia. In that game, the Gamecocks limited the Bulldogs to 35.8% shooting from the floor, including a miserable 0 of 14 showing from beyond the arc. Mississippi State has no perimeter game to speak of, and they have problems at the charity stripe. Given their late season swoon, it's tough to get amped about the Bulldogs. The Mississippi State Bulldogs and the South Carolina Gamecocks will face off in the SEC tournament on Thursday night from Tampa, Florida. It will be the third installment of this season's series, as the home team prevailed in each of the prior contests. The first game was in Starkville, and the Gamecocks never held a lead. The Bulldogs led by as many 27 points, ultimately securing a 14-point victory over South Carolina. Mississippi State scored 1.15 PPP, while shooting 56.1% from two-point range and 44.4% from three-point range, despite being ranked 13th in the second effective FG percent. The second meeting was in Columbia, and South Carolina was able to use that to its advantage. The Bulldogs never held a lead, while the Gamecocks led by as many as 19 points, with just over six minutes remaining in the game. Jermaine Cuisnert and Keyshawn Bryant combed for 36 points to lead the Gamecocks to a revenging win over the Bulldogs. Both of these teams have unreliable offenses, so I would recommend the team with a better defense South Carolina. The Gamecocks rank 30th in Ken Palm's defensive efficiency and 64th in opposing effective FG percent compared to the Bulldogs, who rank 51st and 171st respectively in those metrics. Furthermore, the Gamecocks hold opponents to 41.1% shooting from the field in all games away from home, while the Bulldogs allow opponents to shoot 45.3% in their games away from home. The Gamecocks should get enough stops to keep this game close, but their poor free throw shooting could be worrisome down the stretch. Take the points to be safe. Our third parlay pick is Oklahoma vs Baylor. Baylor minus 8.5 points. And here is why. On utilizing pick and roll, but Baylor has extreme athleticism that makes them very switchable on the perimeter, particularly Jeremy Sachin and Kendall Brown. Sachin and Brown stand 6-9 and 6-8 respectively, but are nimble enough to switch on to the opponent's guards when they run pick and roll. 
Their defense is also fantastic at forcing turnovers, as the Bears rank 17th in the country in defensive turnover rate, per Kempom. They should have no issue whatsoever forcing Oklahoma turnovers, as the Sooners turned it over at the 12th highest rate in the entire country this year. In the two regular season meetings, Baylor forced 42 Sooner turnovers. Baylor is on a five-game winning streak after beating Iowa State 75-68. The defending national champs enter the Big 12 tournament as a contender for a number one seed, with their sights set on a repeat. According to Betton, Baylor has plus 1100 odds to win the 2022 national championship, the fifth best odds after Gonzaga Arizona, Kentucky, and Duke. On the other end, Baylor's offense should dominate in the paint. Per Hoop Math Oklahoma ranks 259th in preventing opponent shots at the rim, and they rank 348th in block rate, according to Ken Palm. Baylor trails only Kentucky in field goal percentage at the rim this season at 71.5%. With no rim protection for Oklahoma, it's highly likely we see several highlight reel dunks from the Bears. Expect to see Baylor win this game by double digits. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.